Come on in. Welcome to the show. What's good? What's good, baby? What's good? What's good? What's happening? How's everybody doing on this beautiful day? What's good? Welcome. Let me know what part of the country you're checking in. What's going on? Everyone from Cleveland, Ohio, Cincinnati, checking in. We see you. Indianapolis, checking in. Columbus, what's going on? Columbus. All right. Uh, what's up to? Okay, Seattle, I see you. That's somebody. Seattle? The, that's something about the internet. You can right. see people from everywhere. People can see you from anywhere. That's, that's what's up. Yeah. How y'all doing? Florida, what's up? All right. Texas, Fort Worth. Okay. All right. What's up to my cousin down there? She's in, in uh, Dallas. I heard uh, Texas is doing it up now. What do you it's mean? It's supposed to be real nice down there. They said Texas is like uh, Atlanta was back in the day. Really? But everybody moving to um, to Texas now. Okay. I don't know. Houston is really nice. I'm digging Houston. Yeah. Houston is really nice. Are they are they close to each other? They're about four, about maybe three hours away. Oh wow, that's that's kind of far. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of far. All right, come on in, come on in. Invite your friends to, to join us on this. Don't forget, man. November the fifth is it them or is it me? A guide to practicing self reflection and being accountable in your relationship. Yeah. Yeah. If I would have read, if I would have wrote the book. <laughs> I would just tell them yeah, what it was about yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, they be, did you, wrong. you better look at yourself. <laughs> See what you done did, what you didn't cause. Like, look at what you did wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do me a favor, share the video with your friends and walk with them to our conversation in reality, our real people, real life situations. We don't put your names on these. Uh, we like to take it out. So don't put your, somebody will put their name right in the middle and, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't do that. If yeah. you don't want people to know. You can't be anonymous if you comment. <clears throat> like, thanks right. for the comments. Right. Yeah, and that, yeah. last last week, oh, thank y'all for the comments. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's supposed to be where we don't mention you, so He's your like, business is out, out there. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's dive into the letter. Okay. Dear Sam, my soon-to-be mother-in-law is manipulative, control freak, freak and a drunk. Uh, when oh, she wow. drinks, she can be downright embarrassing. And the uh -oh. little time she is sober, she is mean and always trying to control my fiance. And she can't stand my guts. She is so bad. To keep peace, uh, we are going to Vegas to get married. So we wouldn't fight about me not wanting her at the wedding or mm. her drama. Mm. But I just found out I'm pregnant. Mm. I plan on surprising my fiance with the news after we say I do. But mm -hmm. here's the thing. What's up? I don't want my soon-to-be mother-in-law around my child. Ooh. My man doesn't think his mother is that bad, but she is. <laughs> I'm scared of want of him <sighs> wanting his mom around. Am I making a mistake going through with this marriage? How should I be handling this? Well, I mean, whether you get married or not, uh, the baby's here. Uh, you know, so the marriage, you know, you still have to deal with her being around her grandchild. Right. So, um, you know, this is why you got to pay attention to this type of stuff before you go, oh, 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 oh. They always put the cart before the horse. Yeah. Always. So you got a baby here now. You you have a family member. So your, your main thing is about her being around the child. Well, the child is here. It's going to be here. Too late. So it is what it is. Right. You know, you, 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 be, listen, whether you get married or not, you attach to the family, period. Period. Because you have a child with the family. So the she son. still got to go over grandma's house. You still. If the father has um, any visitation or right. custody. Correct. Still going over grandma's house. Still. So, so what y'all got to say about it. We're going to read these comments. 888-409-0931. Uh, but she says the mom is what is a drunk? A manipulative, a uh, control freak, yeah, and I can't a drunk. Stand, oh, and a that's a lot. That's a mess. And she doesn't like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's rough. But... What's up, James? What's up, family? CJ, what's good? What you got? Come on. Um, Adrian said she raised him, and he sees her behavior as normal. And after spending time with someone just like her, take my word, she probably will get worse. 
Uh, think about your child and not her feelings. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, CL said, marriage is a commitment to the unknown things of the future together. Yes. yes. Your fiance knows the situation and this issue most likely has never been thrust into his or her face in such a way. Growing up crazy becomes normal. The painful reality may require professional assistance for your fiance to remove the blinders. Time to own up, wake up, and face up is now. If you anticipate difficulties setting boundaries where your future mother-in-law is concerned, you may need to get clarification mm-hmm. before the I do day. Yeah. Your child's well-being is non-negotiable, so get that straight off the top. Congratulations. Right. Whether you're married or not, your job is to protect your child. And if mom-in-law acting a fool and, you know, has an unsafe environment, you well, got yeah. you got you got to do what you got to do, but you need to have this conversation with him today. Yeah, but if she's if she's an alcoholic, I'm not leaving my kid no, with the alcoholic. No, no. Um, uh, your mama's a drunk, so I won't be leaving um, Laquan. <laughs> yeah, with her. Um, what do you mean, my mama drunk? You know, she just drinks heavily. Right. Mm-mm. You know. <laughs> but as far as her not liking you or anything like that, you, you got to work that out. Yeah, who cares? You already yeah. had a baby on the way. Yep. So, too late. Uh, Melissa said, girl, I just went through the same mess, 19 miserable years. It's Ooh. a no-win situation, especially if your soon-to-be husband sees no wrong in his mother. All I'm going to say is good luck. Mm. Mm. What's up, Keisha? Jennifer said, I had, I kind of had the same issue with my ex mom in law, and he would never say anything. She wasn't a drunk or anything, just manipulative. So my mom went to pay her a visit because she was so disrespectful to me for absolutely no reason at all. But I don't know what the heck my mom did or said, but this lady loves me to this day. (laughs) (laughs) Send your mama a straightener out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you ever talk to my daughter, like that again. Yeah. Yeah. Beth said, well, since she doesn't like you, maybe she wouldn't like the baby and you wouldn't have to worry about it. Trying to mistreat your child. You got to look at that. (laughs) You do have stupid people out here that think that way. Been there, done that. God bless. And Crystal said, all all of you on here talking about she's the grandmother, I bet you wouldn't want want a drunk picking up or caring for your child, especially in the child's first year of life. Mm -hmm. I would let her see the child, but I would be right there supervising the visitation. Mm -hmm. We could do that. You guys all go over there. Let's go (laughs) visit your mom all together. Trunk age. Yeah. but (laughs) Baby ain't staying. I got it. Maybe she should just take the mama her favorite drink to get in good. (laughs) (laughs) Don't leave the baby, though. Don't leave the baby. Yeah. Uh, James said, you can't keep her from the child. She will love the child. I think her son needs to have a sit down with his mama because you guys are getting married. She ain't going to, he's not going to sit down and check his mama. Well, he, well, you know what? He got, he has to do something because this is going to be his wife and this is his baby. And if she feels uncomfortable, he needs to hear that. He needs to know that. No need to be in phony. No need to pretend. No need to try to act like, well, let me just deal with it. No, there's a problem here. This is how you feel. But she already told him. He said he doesn't think it's a problem. Okay. Well, you shouldn't be getting married then. She's got a problem. Yeah. Her What's our question? Man. Am I making a mistake going through with this marriage? Yeah, you, you might be. <laughs> but it doesn't matter now. You, you already have are attached. The baby. Yeah, you, you are the already baby. attached yeah. to the family. So yeah. how should I be handling this? Yeah. Everything we just said. Don't leave the baby over there unattended. Yeah. I mean that's all you could do is worry about the safety of your baby, the personality stuff. Yeah. It's too bad. All right, we're going to read this letter one more again for those just tuning in. Uh, 888-409-0931. We're going to bring in our radio audience right now. Something keeps calling Raphael Sadiq on uh, 931 WZAK Sam Silk Show. Don't forget, uh, you are is today's karaoke song coming up for the Charlie Wilson tickets in the 2 o'clock hour. Welcome to the show. What's going on? Real people, real life situation here. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. What's up to our Facebook family here, man? We welcome everybody. Big shots out to you all watching us live here on Facebook at Apple One ZAK and Sam Silk with a Y. What's up to Michelle? What's up to Olivia? Uh, Ernestine, Gloria, what's going on? How you doing? Let's dive into this letter. And you all can call us at uh triple eight four zero nine zero nine three one and give your thoughts to the person in this real life dilemma. Yeah, she's got some problems. All right. Dear Sam, my soon to be mother in law is manipulative, control freak, and a drunk. When she drinks, she can be downright embarrassing, and the little time she is sober, she is mean and always trying to control my fiancé, and she can't stand my guts. She is so bad to keep the peace, we are going to Vegas to get married, so we wouldn't fight about me not wanting her at the wedding or her drama. But I just found out I'm pregnant. I plan on surprising my fiancé with the news after we say I do, But here's the thing. I don't want my soon-to-be mother-in-law around my child. My man doesn't think his mother is that bad, but she is. I'm scared of him wanting his mom around. Am I making a mistake going through with this marriage? How should I be handling this? You know what you're doing. Now, first off, (laughs) y'all got a baby coming now. Yeah, too late. Yeah, so, you know, you got to deal with her whether you're married or not. Right. But when you get married, it means you live with them. Mama might be knocking on that door a little more often. Mm-mm. That's, that's a away. whole lot. That's a whole lot you got to deal with when you say I do. Now, you really only supposed to be marrying him. But it sounds like uh, by him not seeing it there's a problem, sounds like this is a mama's boy yep. pr- protecting his mom. And then you all, from the sounds of your letter, it's going to sound like, She's going to come between you all. And you're going to have to make a choice. And he's going to be like, that's my mama. Because right now, you you told him how you feel. And what did he say? That she's not that bad. That's what he said. Yeah. Okay. He's used to that behavior of his mother. That's his mother. Right. You, you feel me? So, you know, you got you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? <laughs> hey, you all can still be co-parents. But you got to ask yourself. She can just move far. She can move like an hour outside of the city or something where, you know, she's an alcoholic, so she won't be able to drive too far. Well, hopefully she can get some help. Well, yeah, but, you yeah, know. But as of now, you're not leaving the baby over there with mama. Yeah, no. That's enough. Well, Grandma Jack or Grandma Hen. But they need to have these Might kid conversations first. Yeah. Y'all got a whole bunch of talking y'all need to have, man. You need to have that talk and sit down and have a conversation. Be real. You don't want this woman around you and she don't like you, you don't like your baby. Mama's not going anywhere. What y'all got to say? That's right. 888 409 Reality Hour, Real People, Real Life Situation on the Sam Silk Show, Z-A-K. I would even suggest they go to counseling, too, because then a lot of things in counseling can come out that you didn't want to say one-on-one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can't raise grown people. I'm sorry. If she is the mother, yeah. you you got to deal with it. You got to bite the bullet and just move far away. What you got to say about that? Then maybe she'll just come visit every once right. in a while. right. Oh, real quick, let me let me say what's up here. Legendary, y'all see this shirt? Legendary brought his brand by. He brought us a shirt here. Me and he King did. Gavali greatness. Get a shot of that. Yeah. You see that there? I have mine too. All right, there you go. There you go. And greatness. he came through with the food. I, yeah. I'm about in a food coma right now. Yeah, he brought us some. Thank some you, Tony. Alfredo and shrimp and lobster. And, What's yep. good to the homie there? Legendary. Tony. Got steak in there. Yeah. So, shots out to the bruh. Uh, walk to the show, Reality Hour. Hello. Hey, good afternoon, Sam. Good afternoon. Talk to us. Help this woman out. Okay, I'm going to help this woman out. I think the three of them need to sit down and have a talk with each other. 
Um, one thing, she may know that the uh, mom-in-law is a drunk, but she may not know that the mother-in-law doesn't like her. She may feel the mother-in-law doesn't like her because sometimes me having a son, I realize that sometimes we feel envious of our son's relationship. Mm. Uh huh. Your, your and, daddy didn't treat me like you treat her. <laughs> I've been there know, for you all your life. Just, just any little thing. And the time I'm being taken away, mm-hmm. sometimes it's hard to let those boys go, you know, let those sons go. Yeah. And um, mom-in-law realizes once they get married, she has his own family. And then to find out that she's married as well. So just sit down and have a talk with mama-in-law. Can and we talk mama yeah, uh-huh. No, Mrs. I don't want to talk to you. Mrs. I don't Jefferson. like your ass anyway. No. <laughs> right. Well, I didn't like you either. <laughs> See? Well, only thing you was good for was making a, a, good, a good son. <laughs> <laughs> you, you Everything else. No. Every, everything else. No, it could be more. Thank God you didn't have that. no more kids. Sam, it could be more deep-rooted to that. If the mother, if the mother-in-law is an alcoholic, she may be hiding something, and she... Um, it could be some issues within herself that makes her drink like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Comments, what you got? Thanks a lot before we wrap it up. All right. Thelma said, that's his mother, your baby's drunk grandmother. Get oh. married and move out of town. Love her drunk ass from a distance. Wow. I heard that. <laughs> uh, Rashonda said, be careful, mama. Might end up living with you guys. He will put his mother before you. Mm. Yeah, they do some counseling fast. Yeah. Charles says, sounds like a hot mess. They should get marriage counseling. Get it. Get it, please. Yeah. Uh, Charles also said, the three of them do not need to talk about nothing. They need a come to Jesus meeting. What y'all got to say about it? Leave your comments here. Share the video. Thank you all for being a part of our show. We'll do it again tomorrow. All right? Silky, out.